Just wait for what's up next. There's no telling what's going to happen in a battle like this. We have one of the best talents on the roster to date, taking on some tough competition. The baddest woman on the planet. It absolutely amazes me how quickly Ronda Rousey and seamlessly made her transition from the world of mixed martial arts to WWE. She improves each and every time she steps in the ring. A real natural. an extreme rules match making her way to the ring from venice beach california the raw women's champion the baddest woman on the planet rowdy ronda rousey listen to this place they're going nuts A true pioneer! And her opponent, from Buffalo, New York, the Glamazon, Beth Phoenix! Without question, one of the best, most purest, natural athletes we have ever seen in WWE. running through this arena. This is going to be some battle, one-on-one, -on -one, mano a mano. Settle in, guys. This is going to be a blast to watch. Close line right to the back of the neck. A maneuver like that is a great way to turn the tables. Of course, Extreme Rules matches have resulted in some gruesome moments over the years, and perhaps none was more gruesome than in 2012 when Brock Lesnar busted John Cena open following a vicious attack. Going for the double play with this move. As Byron mentioned, Lesnar's attack on Cena in 2012 was without question gruesome. And furthermore, I don't think I've ever seen John Cena manhandled like he was on that night. Yeah, Lesnar definitely brought it to Cena that night. But what's truly amazing is that John Cena eventually found a way to win that match. Guys, you never know what you're going to see in a match like this. And if you need proof of that, just go back to watch Daniel Bryan versus Kane from Extreme Rules 2014.
As Corey mentioned, Daniel Bryan versus Kane from 2014 provided scenes we never thought we'd see. Most notably for me was Bryan carrying Kane back to the ring via a forklift. That's right up there, Michael, but let's not forget that was also the match where Kane went through a flaming table. Driven back down to the mat with unbelievable power. If you ask me, guys, matches like this where there are essentially no rules are one giant free-for-all where absolutely anything can happen. She got her with a reversal. And she's toying with her now. She's thinking about it. Ronda Rousey, this is all but over. She goes for the cover. I like the way you describe this match, Byron. It's one giant free-for-all. And while it's exciting to watch, it's absolute torture on these superstars. It is cold. Unfortunately, matches like this usually result in injury. Sometimes serious injury. Back between the ropes. was able to get out of danger there. Just going for the finisher already. I don't understand the delay. The object is to win the match, isn't it? Come on, let's go. A move like that can get her right back into this match immediately. Looking for all the glory here. She's got a long way to go before she should be thinking about a pinfall victory here. That's either sheer genius or complete stupidity, Cole. And there it is again. As Corey continues to criticize the action in the ring, allow me to take the other side of the argument. The last thing any superstar wants to do is go for the finisher prematurely. No good can come of that. Yeah, you really want to wait for the exact right time. If you go forward and miss, that could be the momentum shift your opponent has been waiting for. Ronda Rousey's done playing. A quick reversal by Ben Phoenix. We may very well be seeing the finisher here there. Ben Phoenix done playing. Look at this. That's how you put an exclamation point on a match. And a victory, but how costly was this, Byron? Ribs and back throughout that entire matchup. Now, this superstar is in bad shape, and we saw it firsthand. Took a lot of punishment in this matchup. It is a good sign that able to walk out of this ring. You just hope that this doesn't hamper future here in the WWE. Yeah, I agree with you.